Hey, good morning, folks. It's Pastor George. It is Monday, July 20th, 2020, and I hope that you are having a blessed day so far. And it's been a couple weeks since we have connected. Um, we took a vacation, or I guess I should say staycation. Uh, we did get up to uh, upper Minnesota for a couple days, but for the most part, we have been here at home. We have been working on uh, giving our kitchen a facelift, and I guess it, it's more of a plastic surgery than, than just a facelift. It, is, it has been an ordeal, and if you have ever done that, you know it seems to be an endless project. And it is such chaos trying to use your house um, when when things are in disorder, trying to still cook and clean and work around each other. And uh, I wish that we could say that we are completely finished and it's a complete project. But as you know, those kind of things take time. And as you get into them, it takes longer. But we have taken a huge chunk out of it. We still have a, a couple more weekends and uh, evenings that we are going to have to to work hard to uh, get this finished, but but we look forward to the day. We keep just taking one step at a time, one bite at a time. As one person said, it's like eating an elephant. You take, uh, you just eat it one bite at a time. But as you know, uh, even that elephant gets old after a while. So we keep plugging away, and uh, but it is good to connect. But you know, as I was thinking about this, living in this chaos of our kitchen, and and working on this project that seems to never end sometimes we as christians may feel that way as well that uh you know that you are a work in progress you look at your life and maybe you see some s steps forward in one area but but then setbacks in other areas and you wonder are we ever going to get there well, if that's us, if that's you, then you're in good company because the Apostle Paul knew what it was like. In fact, in Philippians chapter 3, he talks about his walk with Christ. And he said, uh, he says this in verse 12 of Philippians 3, Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. You know, none of us can say that we have arrived. None of us can say that we are a finished, complete project, that we are perfect. Um, you know, there are areas we struggle with. There are things that we deal with. And the temptation is st sometimes to just throw up our hands and give up or to just, you know, take a shortcut and, and, and finish sloppily. But that's not what Paul says. We want to finish strong. We want to finish well. We want God to complete his work. But that takes us taking one step at a time in obedience to him. One step at a time, one day at a time in him. Paul says, brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Sometimes there are things that we have to let go of. We have to, um, you know, uh, close a chapter in our life to begin another chapter. And that is as we have been remodeling our house, we realize we take one project at a time. As we finish one thing, then we begin another thing. But we cannot begin that new thing until we finish the old thing. And so it is this ongoing progress until we slowly and hopefully, and I'll, I'll maybe post a picture when we're all done so you can see what we're where we're at. But um, but realize this, that God is not giving up on you. So you do not give up as well. I love as Paul closes the chapter, he says this, But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. It is God's power working in you. It is Christ's power working in you that will bring about completion to the uh, work that he is doing in you. So do not give up. Keep going. Keep pressing on. Even in the chaos, uh, take one step at a time, uh, trusting in him 
to, to complete the work. Hey, it's good to connect with you again. We are praying for you. We're thinking of you, and uh, you have a blessed day.